Hello, welcome to Spain. Right now I am in Marbella, in Andalusia in Spain. I am here because I was invited to be a keynote in TBEX conference. If you are not familiar with TBEX, I should say that TBEX is the biggest travel bloggers conference. And usually when you go to travel bloggers conference, there are a lot of fan trips. And today I'm leaving Marbella and I'm going to Mijas, a white village in the south of Spain. Our van is here and let's go and make some friends. Mijas Pueblo is located in the region of Costa del Sol and it is around 30 km away from both Malaga and Marbella. You will find this village at an altitude of 400 meters and about 10 km from the coast. And we arrive in Mijas. And actually our tour guide was explaining about this village and how residents kept it as it was in, in the past and there are not so many hotels here and there is only one hotel in this village. That's good because mass tourism can ruin any small towns and villages. Mijas is not the only white village in Andalusia, but it is indeed one of the most beautiful ones. It is absolutely beautiful. Don't you just want to move here? Oh my gosh. Look at the mountains though. I even think like the contrast between the white buildings and then you see the mountains over here. I don't know. It's just, it is just gorgeous. The symbol of Mijas is donkey because they used to use donkeys as a public transport. Currently they use donkeys as a taxi. Actually I am at the station, taxi station, but this taxi station is different from any other taxi station I've been. It's full of donkeys. The Mijas donkey taxi started operating in the 1960s when tourists began visiting this charming village. At the time, laborers used to ride their donkeys to and from work. They were often stopped by visitors for a photo or even a ride in exchange for a tip. Some locals realized the business opportunity here. And this is how Buru Taxi was born in Mijas. I personally prefer to take photos of the donkeys instead of riding them as a tourist. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Just trying almond. Mm, it's a sweet almond. Mm, caramel almond. The history of the village goes back to the Bronze Age. Visiting Mijas feels like you have been taken back in time. You can clearly see the Roman and Arab influence. This village was called Tarnisa in Roman times. But when the Arabs captured Andalusia, they changed the name to Mija. And then when the Spanish reconquered the village, renamed it to Mijas. Here is the oldest church and the main church in Mijas. Actually, it used to be a mosque but now it's converted to a church and it's still there is part of the mosque which was a minaret and now it's the tower of the church and you can see there are two bells at the top of the tower and when the catholic kings came here at the end of 1485 they destroyed the mosque to build a, a, a church to say uh, our religion is more important than yours and this is this is now uh, belong to, to to the catholics then they used to do that in any place in yeah. malaga also well seville cordoba the 
street behind me is the most photographed street in Spain. A picture of this street was used for a marketing campaign for Spain. After that, Calle San Sebastian became famous and a popular street for photography. This narrow balcony is actually a public footpath and as you can see there are houses with lots of flowers and all flowers here are provided by the city hall. As you can see there are some uh, walls that instead of being white they are kind of brown because of the storm came from Sahara brought some sand in this village. It was a rain of sand and city hall now helps to wash them out or paint them again white. While in Michas, we visited the local market where you can find vegetables, herbs, meat products and Spanish wines at a cheaper price. The name La Locomotora, this is a Rioja wine. The Rioja wine is very famous in, in Spain, it comes from the north. If this, the price of this bottle is 5 euros 80, but if you ask for one bottle like this at any restaurant here in Micas, you pay 22 euros, approximately. That's a good price. In Spain, we have very good wines just for 3 euros. This village is really pretty and I'm not sure if the camera can show everything because you know we just like there are so many details and everything is like so cool and right now we are moving towards one of the best spots to have a great view of Michas. This is the highest place in Mijas, we call it uh, Jardines de la Muralla, la Mura the walls, uh, the gardens of the walls, because in this area we had the fortification to defend the city and around this area we had the walls. Well, now you can see that's the way to go to, uh, well, we can see it, come here. You can see the, the Moroccan coast. Ooh. We can see Africa and the Rock oh, of yeah. Gibraltar. There is a small contemporary art museum in Michos and by paying 3 euros you can see the works of famous artists such as Pablo Picasso and Salvador Dali. It's time to leave Michos and as a souvenir I bought a new cap. What do you think about it? I think it's colorful and cute. Let me know what you think about it.